Flumazenil is commonly known as Ramazicon. It is available as a generic as well. It is a benzodiazepine antagonist. So it reverses the effects of benzodiazepines in the central nervous system. So if you've sedated somebody with a benzo like Versed, Valium, Ativan, whatever it is, this will reverse that and cause them to become more alert and resp restore their respiratory drive. And that's what we're using it for. Pregnancy class for it is C. So indications would be respiratory depression and or sedation from a benzodiazepine overdose. It is very strict. You do have to use it only for benzodiazepine. Anything where you're, they've un overdosed on an unknown medication or several different medications, we want to avoid it. Especially with TCA overdoses, it can cause some toxic effects. And also we want to avoid it with anybody who's seizure prone and maybe they have a history of seizures or whatever. We want to avoid that as well. <clears throat> some adverse reactions to watch for. The biggest one is seizures. And once, you know, we've given a, a benzo to stop a seizure, sedate the patient, whatever it might be. Then we give Ramazicon to reverse those effects. Then if the patient starts seizing again, there's nothing we can do, any EMS really, to manage the seizure. Uh, that's one reason a lot of companies don't carry Ramazicon. It's, it's easier just to intubate a patient that's sedated than it is to risk uh, giving them Ramazicon to reverse it. They go into seizures, you know, they're not adequately perfusing the brain, all that good stuff. So a lot of times we don't even carry it on the truck because it's the seizure side effect. So some other side effects or adverse reactions to watch for. Dizziness, agitation, headache, chest pain, dysrhythmias, hypertension, nausea, vomiting, all the good stuff. Drug interactions, the biggest one is TCAs. It can cause some toxic effects and kill patients. If you're not sure what medication the patient might have taken and there's any chance that it's a TCA, uh, flumazenil is definitely contraindicated. Typical adult dosing is going to be 0.2 milligrams given IV or IO. Then you'll repeat it after one minute, assuming you need more effect, uh, you'll repeat it with 0.3 milligrams, then 0.5 milligrams. And you can repeat that every minute up till you've reached a max dose of three milligrams within, I think it's an hour, three milligrams per hour is your max dose. For the kids, typically not recommended. Uh, onset of it is pretty quick, within one to two minutes. You'll see peak effects within five to 10 minutes. Uh, and then duration just depends on how much you've given of flumazenil versus how much benzos is in the patient. So uh, if someone's taking a bunch of benzos, it's not going to last very long in the body. That will be overpowered quickly. It is a competitive antagonist. So something to be mindful of, you might have to repeat dosing fairly often. And the only special consideration, like we mentioned, it'd be very cautious because seizures are common adverse reaction and then uh, if you've already given that flumazenil then there's nothing else you know we can't stop the seizure then if if it does happen so there you go